Well, we might take soil for granted, but it takes center stage at the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum starting on Saturday. I love the name Dirt Orama. It features a juried art competition, a dirt lab, and compost corner. Everything dirty. Uh, Emily Roscoe gets her hands a little dirty uh, with this story. Take a look. We're going to start our tour with Ant Venture by Albert Beliveau of Poposki, just north of Bemidji. And it's not an adventure, it's an ant venture. So, what are the ants doing? What's your sculpture about? I love ants, and the <laughs> ants are doing what they always do. They're kind of digging deeper little tunnels and they're building little gardens underground and they're making more ants. So they keep tilling up the soil and allowing water to flow in all various places. And ants are just very industrious creatures and I enjoy watching them. How did you actually make this? Did you do all the, the welding and twisting? Yes, it's, it's kind of a blacksmith technique of uh, heating up metal, twisting it tight, and then untwisting it. And then that creates what is called a blacksmith basket. I love rocks. And and I collect them wherever I go, and so I got this idea, I'll stick a rock inside of there and tighten it down, and then that kind of captures the rock for a few hundred years. Fortunately, this wool will not shrink in the rain. It's called Earthly Coat, and it's by Wendy Johnson of Crystal Bay. And I'm joined by Sandy Tank, who's the curator of all of dirt Orama. Tell us what this piece is uh, meant to tell people or show people. What Wendy's created here is really a magnificent way of showing people how soil supports our lives with uh, fibers. In fact, it, uh, the clothes that we wear come to us through the courtesy of the soil that delivers the plants. And uh, what she's done on the outside is a wonderful um, representation of so many different kinds of plants that people will find growing right here at the Arboretum. And then, M.A., if you step inside, that's where there's more magic because what you can see if you're inside is a view from underground. You'll find snakes. I think you might find a mole or two, <laughs> something sprouting. And if you step up on top of the stump, you can view out to the natural world around you. So it's really a wonderful celebration of life and things that people often overlook under the ground. We're going to finish this segment by getting up close and personal with some compost because about a third of what we throw away could be composted and instead of ending up in a landfill, it could be enriching our garden. So Sandy, what do you want people to take away from Compost Corner? Well, first of all, that is not that hard to do. You, everyone could be composting at home. In fact, I brought you some of this Gardener's Gold MA. If well, thank got you. A, if you've got a perennial at home or a shrub that needs some extra special treatment, this is like dark chocolate for our garden. This is the <laughs> perfect um, plant amendment for your soils. And it's not that hard to create. What you need is to uh, set aside your kitchen discards and your garden discards and uh, layer them up in a uh, compost bin. Uh, and that can really give you some gardener's gold. Get deep in the soil, get your hands dirty here at the Arboretum. Dirt-O-Rama is on through October 14th. Back to you.